Pimp, pimp, what it do? Coming at y'all today with my boy Q. Gonna give you the insight on the Freightliner, Cascade, NCAP, and we starting right now. I'm getting money, I'm getting money. Catch me in your trap and I'm still getting that money. I'm getting that money, I'm getting that money. Catch me in the club throwing nothing but the money. What's up, Q? What it do, man? What's, What's up? up with you? What's up, man? I'm glad to be back with you. Man, that won't I talking about. I want to pretty much get an insight, get y'all to get an insight on how you want your truck to pretty much look and how to pretty much use your truck on, on certain circumstances. What kind of, what, what uh, year this truck is? This is a 2019 Freightliner Cascadia. Okay. It rides like a champ. All right. My favorite truck. Um, but once you go to them DOT scales, they looking at certain things. Okay. They're looking at your headlights. Make sure your headlights are working. Make sure. A lot of times you want to keep your truck clean, for one. Yeah, exactly. You want to keep it clean because if you got a dirty truck, then that's this like a that's a that's a red light. Yeah. Okay. But you want to keep your headlights. You want your your headlights to be clear. You want your uh, top lights to be amber in color. You want to make right. sure that there is no leaks. You want to make sure that everything gets up to par. You want to make sure that your mirrors are clear, clean, All right. not broken. Uh, you want to make sure your, your washer fluid is full. You want to look at all your hoses, make sure there are no air leaks, no uh, nothing leaking from the, the hoses or anything like that. The cooling system is full. It look nice too, yeah, man. Good, good uh, compass. Yeah, it look real good. You want to check all your fluids, your oil stick. Your power steering, like I said, your cooling. Uh, you just want to make sure everything is up to par under your hood. Yeah. Because uh, that's the main frame on how your truck will operate on the road. That, that, that's to keep from killing anybody. Yeah, you exactly. Got, you know, make sure your castle nuts are locked in with your control arms, and you want your your drum, your brake drums, and your brake shoes and everything to be locked in place no more than one inch, all that good stuff. That's yeah. Good y'all learning y'all pre trip Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. We go, uh, we gonna slide in the truck for a minute. I'm gonna show y'all some time. Okay, yeah, let me get in on the other side. Yeah, that way they are no, man, some of how some of these buttons work, man. Oh, all right. Truck. I'm not sure how your lighting is, but we go throw some, get some lights on. Yeah, all right, all right. So here we have the cab. All right. You want to make sure your emergency lights are working no, always. All right. Uh, I don't know which button to start with. Yeah. But we're going to start, uh, we can start with this button. This is a light test. Okay. A lot of times... Back at the trucks back in the day didn't have the uh, you, you got to test out your lights just by flicking the switches and everything. But you got this one button that you can press, and it's going to light up all your lights oh, simultaneously. Okay. And you can get out your truck, and you'll see that the headlights are working correctly, yeah, your blinker lights are working correctly. It's gonna even show you your trailer lights. We don't have a trailer this time. Well, it's going to even show you your trailer lights. Oh, okay. So that's the first button right there. Mm -hmm. On the, oh, on the okay. 2019 Cascadia. All right. Your utility light. This is the light behind your cab. So you can see your fifth wheel. So you can so you just pretty much have a good view on your cab walk. Okay. The dome light, of course, this is the end stuff. Yeah. Inside. Oh, okay. And the... Uh, HSA, that is to prevent you from rolling back. Okay, that's the one with the uh, sl the slads in the in the middle. Mm -hmm. of the it prevents okay. you from rolling back. You really want to press it while you're going uphill. Oh, uh, okay. Or, or if you parked uphill. Yeah. It okay. also connects with the emergency brake. Everything connects in one. Okay. And then you got your uh, automatic control, and that pretty much locks. Yeah, okay. The, uh, the truck and, and the, the wheels on on the back side. Okay. You got your uh, engine override. Say for instance, the truck want to cut off um, due to a computer error or something. You're going to override it just to get you parked in the safe place. 
Uh, so what you what how you work it? What you hold it down yeah, until pretty, you get to where you, you going? It's been times I had to put a uh, in a older truck. I had to put a paper, paper clip right there. I just keep kept going. I was thirty miles outside of home. <laughs> uh, so I ain't no stopping. <laughs> I ain't no that. stopping there. I put a paper clip in that bad boy. I got on down. Yeah. Oh, okay. D. D. Cause a lot of folks don't know what all them buttons for. They just right. they like they just for show. Right. They don't even look at the buttons. Right. Right. So that will help and help guys out. Right. Exactly. So, so these buttons right here we have the. Uh, okay. Let me the, see. Get out the way. Which one are you talking about? We got oh, okay. the differential lock. It locks all the axles. Say you get stuck in some mud or uh, something that's uh, you getting stuck coming out of a driveway or something. You pop this bad boy on. Oh, okay. Um, this button right here is the fifth wheel air slide. And pretty much weight keep the weight of your fifth wheel uh, on the cords. So uh, whatever. Whatever the state says. Requires. Um, so 34,000 has to be on, at least 34,000 has to be on the, the uh, fifth wheel axle. Or each axle, rather. Yeah. 12,000 on the front. Oh, uh, okay. But this, I don't really mess with that. I know how to use it definitely. Yeah. But I already know because I already have a set. Oh, uh, okay. I already know how to go load it. A lot of times the shipper might say, uh, how do you want to load it? Loaded from the nose on back. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's, but they already loaded from them. Some shippers loaded stuff in the middle. I mean, yeah, exactly. You got to adjust it from there. But you know, as a driver, you'll know how to keep your load and your um and your base safe. Ah, uh, okay. This is my favorite button. Okay. This is suspension. Okay. I use that from when I pull from up under a trailer. Yeah. I go ahead and pop this button. And what and what does it do? It, it drops the airbags. Okay. It lowers the airbags. And once it lowers the airbags, you have space in between the trailer and the truck to slide right on up on So it. you don't hear that, that clue yeah. when the trailer drop. When right. you lower that, you just ease, ease on, on out. out. Yeah. You don't gotta worry about no nothing dropping or feeling like something dropping. You just ease on them. Once you drop this and your trailer drop, then that's yeah. how you know your legs hang down on your trailer. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. But uh, gotcha. of course, we got the the parking brake. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something about this. This is the trailer air brake. You do not set the trailer air brake in the winter time when you're parking. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, it even says not for parking. Yeah. You do not set your trailer air brakes when you park. You always just keep keep it in. Uh, Why? Okay. If you set them in the winter time and it's cold, your brakes will freeze up and then lock them. You got to get back there with a hammer and just and bang them. Yeah, bang them, un unbreak them. So that's so, what you don't want. That's what you don't want, especially in the winter time. So it's uh, best okay. to go ahead, even in the summer. It's best to go ahead and get in that habit of just keeping when you when you setting your brakes. Yeah, you keep it like. See, since I don't have a trailer, I can't um, leave it in. Right, but it's best just to keep it in always. Uh, and so get in the habit of doing it because if you forget, when, you, <laughs> when them brakes freeze up, you're gonna be a motherfucker. I started driving in the winter time. Ah, uh, okay, so that was one of the main things you needed then, right there. You had yep. to learn that first. I, 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 well, I guess I didn't learn it. <laughs> so you did learn. Um, when I was with my trainer, we always, I always watched him pull it out. Yeah. But that's because the truck always ran. On teams. Oh, so once okay. I get by myself and went to sleep on my 10 hour, guess what? Woke up. My trailer breaks are frozen. So it froze up mm -hmm. on you. And, I, and of course, just like just like you, V Dog, I called somebody, like, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on they with said, the truck? They said, uh, but if you look at the red button, the red trailer emergency valve, it says not for parking. And I looked at it, I said, oh. Not for parking. <laughs> I said, well, you, when you park, of course it froze up. Like, I was in Missouri, I believe, at the time, Missouri, Ohio, or something like that. Yeah. And it um it froze up on me. So I got this I'm trying to break it. I got this black line following me the whole way from the tires screeching on the ground. Damn, that's crazy. And finally, um I went in the, uh walked back to the truck stop. Bought a hammer. Did not want to buy the hammer. So you had to go buy a hammer just uh, to... I, so it's good to always have 
your central tools. Which, or, which is what? Which, what what's sit the tools? What, what, what you need? I've been on road a minute, but you for sure need a hammer. Okay, so a hammer. You, uh, a, a black mallet hammer and uh, a metal hammer. The, the, not like a, a hammer you put on with a nail. Yeah, the not that. Hammers. Yeah. The reason why? Because you might need the hammer to open up a trailer door. Yeah. Or lock a trailer door. You might have to bust open a, a, the air to slide your tandems back. Yeah. It's a lot of sensors. So you always need a hammer, that's for sure. Okay. That is definitely so for always sure. Always need a hammer. hammer. Uh, like, okay. That's your number one, too. Alright. Gloves are your number one, too. Yeah, you definitely need them gloves. Mm -hmm. man. You best to always to have, have like a. Uh, he caught me on a bad day, but it's best to always have a vest. Yeah, or okay. some type of uh, highlighted shirt, like a green shirt or orange shirt. Yeah, when walking into factories or if you walking. Yeah, because a, a lot spot. of companies I notice, man, when you're on the road, a lot of companies won't even let you in unless you got right. it. You uh, know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of these warehouses, so, they don't they want you to have a vest, yep. especially walking through. They they don't want you to get hit. Yeah, I don't want to get hit. You so sure right. <laughs> if I get hit, I'm gonna get some money. <laughs> right, what? I get some money. See, for real though. Just so like my guy over here. If you see my guy over here, he walking through the parking lot. Um, I can see him. Yeah, uh, the guy. Wait, well, let me mm. see. Let me see. Can I zoom in? You, you, you barely can see him, but yeah, I, I see him I, though. You can see him, you but at the same time, right there, y'all. You're yeah, right yeah, there. Look, if they got so much light, yeah. But if it wasn't so much light. You wouldn't even really be able to see him. Exactly. Then he got what black, black on. on. Exactly. So you really won't so be able to see him. I always him. walk through. I always put on mine when I'm far away in the truck stop. Yeah. If I'm this far away in the door, all the way up there, just so I know that my safety and your safety uh, won't be an issue. Exactly. Man, because once it becomes an issue, then that's when trouble comes. Exactly. Man, um, I feel you on this. No, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> if I get up off that ground, I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> if I can stand on these two feet, better believe. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna yeah. have some trouble. Man, what? Yes, sir. <laughs> man, I feel you on it, man. I so yes, appreciate you, man. We so wanted to check your truck out this 19, man. You know what I'm saying? It's done looking good, man. So we appreciate it, man. No God problem. damn it. I'm gonna let you, God damn it, get back to what you were doing, man. Oh, and... <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, man, I'm gonna holler at you later on, man. I appreciate I'm... you having me beat off. Man, so appreciate you, baby. We're gonna, God damn it, we're gonna get back at you, man. I let me. Find something else, I'm gonna call your ass. And you know, I know you're gonna pull right up, God Yes, damn. sir. Man, that's what I'm talking we about. I'm gonna block some blocks away. I'll do some donuts. I might hit this button right here, you know, <laughs> and let the wings out. Right, Go right. fly to you. <laughs> man, appreciate you, baby. I'm out of right. here, man. All right, V-Dog. All right, Q. All right. I'm a dope, my